Yeah, good day everyone. Uh, today is something a little bit different. This is a uh, theory of knowledge case study to do with mathematics. Uh, it's called Anscombe's Quartet. Uh, Francis Anscombe was a mathematician, a British mathematician. Uh, he died in 2001. But uh, he famously discovered or constructed four sets of data uh, that had the same statistical properties but were very very different. Um, there's a number of these quartets and I'm going to demonstrate one today um, and talk about the significance of it. Uh, if you look at any of these websites or if you look in the textbook that I'm, that, uh, I'm using um, you will find information about this or just search for Anscombe and Anscombe's Quartet, you'll find lots of different examples. Uh, here's the particular quartet we're looking at. Um, there are four sets of data, A, B, C, D, and each of those sets is um, has X and Y values. Now, if we take the mean and the variance of each of those sets, you can see the mean of the X values of set A is 9 and the mean of the Y value is 7.5. If you look at every other set of data, it's the same. The X value, the mean is always 9, the Y value is always 7.5. If we look at the variance, or the standard deviation squared, the um, that's a little bit backwards but we'll talk about that later. Uh, the variance here for X values is always 10 and the Y values is always 3.75. So basically all these sets of data have the same center, the same mean, and they have the same spread in the, measured by the variance. So. Okay, let's see what they look like. Okay, there's the first set, set A. Uh, if we took a line of best fit, it would look like that which is uh, 0.5x plus 3. Here's the second set of data. looks quite different, but we put a line of best fit through it, we get 0.5x plus 3. y equals 0.5x plus 3. Uh, a third set of data, again, quite different. Line of best fit doesn't actually hit all these, but it goes a little bit above it there, a little bit below it there. Again, 0.5x plus 3. Y equals 0.5x plus 3. Uh, last set of data. Okay, we basically have a vertical line with a weird outlier out here. Line of best fit, just like that. Y equals 0.5x plus 3. Interesting. If we look at all the data all together, there you've got four different colors. Put the line of best fits in they all are exactly the same. So we've got four sets of data. They've all got the same mean. They've all got the same standard deviation or variance. They've all got the same line of best fit. But if you look at those four, the blue, the red, the pink and the black, they're all very, very different. So what's our conclusions? This is my conclusion. You might come up with a different one. This is a good discussion starter for you. My conclusion is be careful. Even though they all have the same statistical measures, they're not the same. The data is very different. So what does that imply? That implies that statistics are a good tool, but they can't be used alone. They can't replace common sense. And they've got to be supported by anecdotal analysis. Like you have to understand what's going on. You have to know the story of the of the um, data, and visualization. Like look at a graph. See the trends that are happening. See uh, how the data changes. How the data is grouped. Okay. So that's a basic rule about statistics. But I am suggesting that this can apply to other areas of mathematics as well. Algebra, analysis, calculus, um, geometry. The same thing can be applied to the same idea that it's not 
that maths is a tool for analysis and has to be supported by um, visualization and analytical analysis works in other areas than mathematics but be careful statistics yeah I can say just a tool mathematics in general I'm not sure it's just a tool alright something to think about see you later